This <coughs> is uh, just a very short proof that the Turin Shroud is a fake and in any case not even a shroud. This is uh, an enhanced photograph of the head of the supposed figure that was shrouded. We see here the face and even here on the side and then here as you can see in this enhanced photograph the back of the head. Now let's see why that could not possibly have been a shroud. Taking uh, this doll as the model and taking this reconstruction here of the shroud as you've seen I've drawn the face of the doll uh, proportionate to the doll's size uh, including the hair on the side and the shoulders and the back of the head here which meant First of all, that the shroud was covering the body this way, which is rather unusual for a shroud, I would say, but that's a minor point. If we look at it, once it covers, we see that this, the chin on the drawing of the shroud is at the level of the nose on the doll. That's because there's no space here for the top of the head. Um, aside from the peculiarity that in the shroud there was hair on the side, which is impossible as the hair would have been down on the lower shroud with no pressure. What we would expect had the shroud been uh, real is something more like this. Here would have been the head. We would have then have the entire head then here depicted in the shroud. No hair on the side and we certainly would not expect fine lines. I imagine the shroud would probably have to have folded or the body being moved, so we would expect other markings here on the side. I think that should suffice to prove that an infinite and all-powerful God is probably not interested in doing cheap parlor tricks that are also obvious once you know how to look.